Hey guys, it's Chris with CNM Aquatics, and today I'm going to show you something I use to dip my corals, and that's the Coral RX Coral Dip. I've had a lot of um, good success with this product. Um, it's good for removing acropora eating flatworms, montipora eating nuda branches, zoanthid eating nuda branches, bristle worms, zoanthid eating spiders, red flatworms. It also helps to aid in the treatment of filamentous hair algae, rapid tissue necrosis, slow tissue necrosis, and bacterial infections. Um, you can go to CoralRx.com. There's a lot of good information on their website. You can look up. The directions here say, um, shake bottle of Coral, Coral RX, add 20 milliliters or four capsules of Coral RX to one gallon of salt water from aquarium. Mix well, using a small power head, keep the water moving, and place coral in the coral dip. If you do not have a power head, gently shake coral in the coral dip. Keep coral in dip for five to 10 minutes. After five to 10 minutes, remove coral and discard the coral dip. Do not reuse coral dip, as parasites may release toxins. Rinse coral with clean salt water and return to the aquarium. Do not add coral RX directly to the aquarium. Now, I would follow these manufacturer instructions. That's what I do and I've had a lot of success with this product. Um, here's a um, little video of me showing you my process here. I got a little glass vial with an eyedropper full of Coral RX. And I like using the eyedropper like this because if you, tr if you try to pour it out or use the cap I tend to overdose. So I just use this little dropper and put two or three um, syringe worth here into the water. So you place that in there and then I'll put the corals in five, ten minutes, swirl them around. Now I do this every time I bring new coral home, whether it's from a local aquarium store or I'm ordering it online. <clears throat> I always, always dip the corals and then quarantine them. So I do not want any type of parasites getting into my systems. And I have had, I have seen um, this stuff works pretty good on the red flatworms or the bristle, the bristle worms. Some people call them the fire worms. They don't like this stuff. It really gets them off. Even if you can't see them on the coral, it's amazing the things that, that come off after you dip them. But it's also important to swirl them a little bit to knock, knock off anything that's loose or dead. Uh, just keep in mind this stuff does not really do anything for the eggs of parasites, just the parasites themselves. So inspect your corals, you may have to scrub them with a toothbrush if you got eggs. Um, but I would highly recommend dipping on your corals. So until next time, appreciate it, thanks for watching.